they wanted to make a movie again with me because we had a hole in the middle of our relationship and uh, Erosine asked me to make an adventure, a principal adventure film. And then uh, discussing with the, the main director of uh, Erosine, who was a man who I met uh, the early 60s, I made a lot of films with him and I have a lot of confidence with him for the good and for the bad, you know. Uh, I, we decided well, not to make something about the carnival, you know, because we were appealing. It was in the moment that the first carnival films were ap uh, appealing and getting the, the schedule to, to, to open and to be exhibited in, in different countries. And we decided to, to, to make this carnival thing, you know. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I wrote the story and, and then uh, I, I made the script and we made the film. But, but in a very simple way because my relationship with this house was not like with other productions that we had to discuss for months and months and months. It was very fluent. And we decided that why? Because what's in the in the in the air? You know what happened? That when when an idea is is interesting, it's, it's not only in the mind of someone. I think it's, it's floating around you. Okay. And so we got the, the, the idea and we made the film. And in principle, it wasn't. Even not the first idea, not a cannibal, not a go film with, with go shots. Yeah. But then when we were preparing the film, we started, and he asked me, do, do, would you like to make some closer for me? He said, oh yes, oh yes. And we worked in a very easy way, no? We made the, the film very easily and very nicely. I made uh, two million films with the Eurocine. Mm. They never, I must say, that. I know they were quite, quite uh, cutie with some people, but when I directed a film with Eurocine, they never opened their mouth during the shooting period. No one. Okay. You know, then I, uh, I know that I <coughs> had to be like that, you know. Was, if, a couple of times in our, our whole story together uh, between Rossini and me, one of the Rossini guys asked me, why do you don't shh, you tell them. And they did. Mm. They even <laughs> not finished the line. <laughs> so I can tell you that uh, Rossini got a lot of uh, problems and, and difficulties because uh, not because they are not serious, because they are very serious. If you are to, to to make a, an, ag an agreement with them, they keep the agreement. Uh, you know, you can be sure. They, they, but the problem is after it, the, the film is finished, and they want to, of course, to, to, to sell uh, Ireland. And in Ireland they ask them for some shots with the greenery. And mm -hmm. you know, they, they look for some shots of greenery uh, from another film and they put it in, you know, to, mm -hmm. just to please, to please uh, the, the different customers. I, I had problems and, uh, and it's why we broke our relationship two or three times mm -hmm. and then we came uh, Again, to to to, you know, it's like it <coughs> with old, old lovers. Okay. You know, sometimes they get, they get you know tired of the relationship and say adios and you can go, and then uh, you know some months or some years after, uh, he arrives and say, listen, this, let's make about them together. You know, we can arrange this. Mm -hmm. And and as a matter of fact, they open me the biggest production they ever met. Okay. They opened to me. And I made some of them and some I said no because I, I didn't want to, to fall again in the in the same thing. Mm -hmm. 
but uh, for, for instance, it's a film called The Lake of the Living Dead. Mm -hmm. I had to be the director of this film. I wrote the first story. And, and uh, everything was right. I, until the moment I, I understood was a trick, you know, because they offered me to make this production quite important with lots of things and then, and then step by step the things were disappearing in yeah. the project. And finally I had to shoot in, in Paris a story of the lake of the living dead. I said, no, 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 no. <laughs> in that. I, I, I left the place, I, I didn't make the film. You know, someone else did. You know why? Because it was much more. It, it was my idea to put this thing. Mm -hmm. Because it was much more romantic. You know? Yeah. I think I had to add an element because a story of zombies, only the zombies. What is that? You know? Mm -hmm. I was tired. I, I didn't like the Joe Romero films. So. I wanted to do another thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, I saw the idea of those soldiers which got death during the war to keep, you know, because they were kind, kind of the, the people keeping the treasure, the treasure of Rome, supposed to have. And and they, the dead people stayed there to cover up, to keep the thing free from from the. the, the the hands of, of the newcomers. You mm -hmm. know? I like this idea. I think it's quite romantic. It's in the romantic tradition of, of the legends and things like that. Well, I, I asked this question before. Yeah, that's yes, right. I prefer yes before the, more than other directors, for sure. Okay. It's, it's for that that we are. We are together. Two together. Yeah, just like we are yes. Yeah. Okay. You get the uh, silver. We call it Zelopsite. <laughs> you have it the same, we call it Zelopsite, the silver, 25 years together. We have a, a, a jubileum. You know what we mean? The Germans say Zelopsite. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. the silver is shame, I don't know. No. It's like, ah, it's like a, yes, a new in, celebration in, 25 in, in, years together. In Spain, together. When, when we married 25 yeah. years, we say that we are the the Arjan uh, the plata. Yeah, the silver. The silver, silver, silver uh, wedding. wedding. Yeah, okay, it's the same. I can do. Yeah, that's a private. Okay, so we are having the silver wedding on one of these days. Okay, I hope we will remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> in a kind of national park in, mm. in the south of Spain, okay. most of the film, and uh, in the area. But I tell you also, I know Amazonia. Okay. I know, I was there, I shot them. The past movies? No, not this movie, other movies. Yeah. The, the first Pumachu I shot in Amazonia, for instance. Yeah. And I know Amazonia, and Amazonia is not at all what the people who never got, went to Amazonia try to say about Amazonia. <laughs> in Amazonia are also very dry songs with very sl slim trees and you know, very, uh, with lots of lagoons and things like that, but very dangerous and be very much insane, you know? And I, I think at this insane side of, of this it's, it's in the film. Looks mm -hmm. quite insane. No, I, I think so. No? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Mm. I, I I don't like to have a cameo. I like to have good parts. <laughs> but if I am the director, it's very difficult to, to do both things. Mainly, like in my case like the AK and the mm. we used to hold the camera ourselves. You know, since, uh, let's say, 20 years, uh, at least 20 years, I was always the man at the camera in my films. Why? Because 
I am, and he is the only one who knows what's happening inside. You know, it's, the eye of the director is the eye who has to decide. Now I have this chance, I can close the zoom, for instance, and to get the face of that one, or the face of this one, or, or, or the bottom of that one. You know, it's your choice. Eh? If you have another guy, and you are shooting, and you can say, go with it. And it's, it's over. <laughs> when the key arrives, understand what you are asking for. It's finished. <coughs> you know? So, it's this, it's for this reason that I, I don't play more important parts normally in my film, because I want to, to be at the camera. Okay. For me, it's more important. Sorry. Yeah, I know, I know, you know. I know that this you 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 know kind of censorship ideas mm. in Germany which are that terrific because we talk about censorship in Spain. <laughs> mm. yeah. More uh, harder. Yeah, think. yeah, no, but in Spain was not harder. Mm. But in Spain was a di dictature. Mm. A dictature not only of the General Franco, but of General Franco and they could play together. Mm. I, I, I hope for you, German, that you have not that you don't follow in the same horror that we were 40 years long, you know? Yeah, okay. Because I, I think when, when I, 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 came, I came in Germany the first time, uh, was a uh, long time ago, kind of uh, 40, 40 years ago, and I, I felt uh, very free. Country, very free country, yes, indeed. And it was like that for a long time. I hope uh, Germany was improving and was going up and recu let's say rec recovering the, the, the old the old fire. Huh? Mm. And I, I don't see Germany going again. To, to become a, a kind of a censorship country, paradise, you know. I, I, I hate this idea because I know the spirit of the German people is very, very open, and very, very free. I, I don't understand why they have to be like that, you know, kind of tied up yeah. by, by the censorship of anybody, you know. And it's a, it's a cultivated people. Very mature, so if, if someone in Europe is is ready to to see everything, I think uh, are probably the French and the German the most. So why they have to to, to go back uh, to, to to an old old thing, an old culture, an old thing? Mm. I hate this idea. No, the feeling is terrible. Mm -hmm. The feeling is terrible because, as I, I told you before, uh, when I saw that in, in under the, the regime of General Franco in Spain, I knew it was like that. Mm -hmm. I knew they were a band of idiots of son of a bitch, or maybe both together, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. But I don't see the reason why they, the German people had to be, you know, kind of, of squished that way. Because, because they are not like that, you know. Okay. They are very adult and, and, and yeah. cultivated. So why, why? This is for primitive people or for idiots or for, you know, of the people that are strangled by this religion or those things. But but here, in principle, I, I still been a very free country. Yeah. Why it can't happen in this stupid thing, this stupid manner? Yeah. It's, uh, it's the, you know, someone in the, probably in the government of the thing is, is a little bit mad and he gets excited when he see a hand touching a uh, teeth. Mm. But, but he's a woman, but, uh, you know, no, not everybody. And, so, and even if they get excited watching a teeth, why not? It's a good thing. Okay. I think it's a good thing, you have your hand holding that. It's a good thing too. No, we can't funny stories, but no problem. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> no, no, we, we had, we had a, a very nice looking girl, Italian girl. Beautiful, that's it's, it's from us. Ah, Sabrina Siani. Sabrina Siani. And she was as beautiful and, and nice looking as stupid. Both seem stupid, you know. And uh, she was always with her mother because she was very young when, when she made the film. She was not a minor, but she was very young, and the mother came every day with her to the shooting place. And uh, she was not saying, no, she cannot be new. No, 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 no. She, she was very free mind, but she was the whole is, is she not beautiful? Oh, oh, look at my little child. Uh, she's so fantastic. Oh, and then I thought, it's not the most beautiful body in the world. And one day, I was upset about her. I was holding the camera and working. And she came every day. Ah, oh, how is beautiful today? Don't you drink, don't you see how beautiful she? Yes, I asked her in Italian, of course. Mm -hmm. She got a beautiful bottom. Okay. Just to stop her, you know. And she said, oh! <laughs> The director said, my child got a beautiful bottle. Oh, how happy I am. You know? <laughs> I was not expecting this. That's a surprise for me. And everybody was laughing. Two or three days saying, yes, your child got a beautiful bottle. That's important. <laughs> the joke of the, the shooting. Great. Al Cleaver also was very happy about this, this line. It's a rumor, no, it's a reality. They have a signed contract with the with Vecine. The they bought my new version of Dr. Orlov. Mm -hmm. They bought the script. And we made a contract. I will direct the film. And Vecine, uh, which is directed now, no, by the old uh, man, because he's very old now. He's alive, he's well, but he's. <coughs> 90 something, you know, but the son will be the producer and he's building up all the details and all the things. For instance, he made a contract and I got already the music with Iron Maiden to make the music of this yeah. new version. But this is a reality, it's not something like speculation, no. I got it in my yeah. hands. And, and at the same time, we were working about the different possibilities of factors to play Doctor, the new version of Doctor Love, which is very, very, very much different to the first. Only if you think about it, I don't mind it, making the music for the old Doctor Love. Yeah. It's impossible, no? Okay. So it means that it's a very different version. And probably, probably, is not sure, but probably it's Robert Englund playing. You know, so, so we are making a kind of very serious project and with important actors and with a very quite serious budget. No, but this is for our Spanish, it's very normal because we eat tribes, all of us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no human tribes, but we okay. eat tribes. It's, it's nice, it's, it's nothing wrong with it. Okay, <laughs> but uh, the is not we, we like it. We cook, of course, before to eat. We yeah. cook, okay. but we, we eat the types. Which oh, is, yeah, all the types, all the instances, everything. Okay, I think... They uh, call it with very, very nice and great balls too. Yeah. The balls of a lot of animals. But uh, it, they call it in Spanish that Criadillas. Oh, sounds great. Sounds very, very cute. No? <laughs> <laughs> for the of, of uh, an norm, enormous bull, the morph like that, and wait, that's in business. Not ever. Not ever. I don't like my movie. <laughs> no, I don't like messy ones. Yeah, <laughs> because I know okay. all the folds. Okay. You know? Yeah. And so each time I see the oh my god, and now we'll appear in this sequence and, <laughs> and now it's getting 
more wrong because the, the time goes by very quickly. No, it, I, I, I have some movies that I hate less. Okay. You know, which is <laughs> the top. <laughs> <laughs> and those movies are Necronomicon is one, you know. Uh, I think uh, the, 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 the La Contesse Noire, the, the Black Countess is, is another one. I think uh, I made recently a film that I think in 10 years everybody will, will ask about this film. Eh? It's a film called Helter Skelter. It's a very strange film, I know, mm. but I, I love it. I like it the way it's done. Ah, with all the research, you know. Uh, I like uh, Ninety Nine Women. I like it very, very enough because I, uh, some performances which are wonderful, I still have been wonderful. Like Maria Shell and Mrs. McCambridge and everything. Had a long and they work great, really. And it, it gives up a, a weight to, to the film that is. That's a move. Still. Mm. And then I have Lucky and Scrutable. I like very much. Mm. I don't know if you know this, this film. It's a, it's a kind of a cartoon. Almost, almost a cartoon, you know, the kind of comic strip or something like that. I made what my first co-production with Germany in my life, uh, with with Ray Danton, uh, and and very good actors, fantastic actors, you know, Peter Flashman, mm -hmm. for instance. And, 